Hi everyone, my name is Luke Stout and I am a first year student in the Higher Education Administration program here at Southeast Missouri State University. Currently doing my filming from a study room in Kent Library, which you might be able to read is not soundproof, so that's a good thing. But today I will be talking about the topic of discrimination in higher education. Let's go ahead and dig in. Discrimination in higher education. If I had the chance to hand pick from the topics on the list, it probably would not have been my first choice, I haven't really been directly impacted by discrimination in higher ed to this point, but that really doesn't demean the importance of this topic, especially for aspiring higher ed professionals like ourselves. So I'm going to look at this as a chance to broaden my horizons a little bit. All right, so here's a brief overview. We have the U.S. Department of Ed. Within this organization, there is the Office of Civil Rights. This office's mission is ensuring equal access to education and promoting educational excellence throughout the nation. So what do they do? They are essentially in charge of enforcing all civil rights laws that prohibit discrimination on the basis of age, race, color, national origin, disability, and sex. And finally, who calls them? Who complains to them? Not only students, but also those who are employed at a university, those in both faculty and staff roles as well. One very relevant piece of legislation is the Civil Rights Act of 1964. This prohibits discrimination on the basis of race, color, sex, religion, and national origin. Title IV of this act enforces those factors in public institutions of higher learning, and Title VI addresses institutions that receive federal funds. So those factors are both pretty pertinent for us. Title IX, the Education Amendments of 1972, further works to prevent sex-based discrimination. The Age Discrimination Act of 1975 prohibits age-based discrimination in federally funded education institutions. And finally, Title II, of the Americans with Disabilities Act, commonly known as ADA, of 1990 prohibits disability discrimination by public entities, which encompasses public colleges and universities. So the million dollar question, what does this all mean for me? Is it relevant? How will it impact me moving forward? I think the fact that it has the potential to be relevant moving forward makes it critical right now. So what are my recommendations for you? I'm not going to tell you to become a policy junkie, but do make sure that you are well versed on some of the more notable legislation regarding discrimination. 
keep this knowledge in your back pocket moving forward in case you ultimately do need to use it. Personally, it's a goal of mine to maintain a more explicit commitment to factors of inclusiveness and equity moving forward as I pursue a career in higher education. That's all I've got. Appreciate you watching. I'm out.